Welcome to Adreno Tips. Today we're going to look at equalization with an introduction to the Frenzel method. When we're diving, we're increasing the outside pressure, and for our comfort's sake, we have to equalize uh, and repressure the air pockets we carry with us. Of all the things that will keep us out of the water, probably the thing that does it most is damage to one's ears. And this should make equalization a major point and a major skill that everyone should master. As we descend, we're, we have increasing pressure around us. We've got pockets of air that we take with us. If we don't keep the pressure of those pockets of air with us, to the same as the outside pressure, it can become very uncomfortable and painful. So equalization is all about changing the pressure of the air pockets that we're taking down to the outside pressure of the water. You'll note as soon as you get down a few metres, the mask sucks onto your face. Well, that's the pressure from the outside pushing on that, uh, the less pressure of the air inside the mask, and the mask sucks on. And now if you go deep enough, you can actually cause a bit of damage with that. An example of this is uh, in the early in our freediving career, we had a person who went down 40 metres at one stage. The pressure increased and the mask sucked onto his face. And he managed to uh, disrupt or break many capillaries in his eyes. So his eye whites became red for some days later. We have lots of passages inside our skull pockets of air are in these passages, when they don't equalize to the outside pressure, they'll cause pain and cause disruption. You'll get bleeding from the nose if you break uh, blood vessels. The good thing about the sinus passages is when you equalize them, it's the same way as you equalize your ears. So very often you equalize your sinuses and you'll feel it, you, know, you can feel it change around this area here, but at the same time you equalize your ears because it's the same action. So we're going to concentrate on the ears because it is the ears that can cause major damage. The problem is when the outside pressure, so that's the outside, here is the outside pressure, pushes on the air drum, and we're talking about the membrane that's facing, that's holding the water, it forces it in that causes discomfort and pain. You go down a metre, you'll feel a change in there. That's the pressure pushing this in. You go further down, the pressure increases, now it gets painful, okay? When we equalise, we're pushing the pressure of air into this part, which is your inner ear, and it straightens it up again. And so there's equal pressure there and there. And as you go down a bit further, the pressure creates, we equalise it again. And this is what we're doing. Maintaining the inside cavities pressure of air pressure to the outside pressure of the water around us it's not hard to damage that membrane if one goes past the area of discomfort or goes into the area of pain you're really in a in, in a place you shouldn't be you can't afford to go there so as soon as it gets discomfort you have to stop descending now this in two different spheres here and a free diver can be two metres away from his target depth and goes, oh, it's not feeling that bad in his ears. And he could go down to that extra two metres and perforate the eardrum, which means there's a hole. You know? That's pretty dangerous for a, spare fish, uh, for a uh, free diver because when the air perforates, it can cause dizziness. And you don't want to be down deep and have dizziness and out of balance feelings when you're you know, when you're free diving, that's just not good. Okay, now, spear fishing, that fish could be down another two metres. The idea, you think, oh, I just ride my ears, is this term you hear, oh, I just ride my ears. Don't ride your ears. You want to be around diving and spear fishing for a long time, don't ride your ears. If you don't get an equalisation, stop. And it's possible, you don't get an equalisation and you're trying and you're working at it and you're just tight, you want to go down further, 
it is possible that you're still descending and not realizing it. And that's going to stop you equalizing. And you can still be trying and still descending, because especially if you've gone into negative buoyancy, you will descend without knowing it. This is another way your drum can be perforated. You're trying to equalize while still descending. When you stop because of the pressure and the pain or whatever, make sure you're not still descending, because that can be what perforates your eardrum. Sometimes it's, you know, especially when you're new, equalize once or twice a meter especially in the top 10 meters. When you're new, when you should, you're on the surface, before you make a dive, equalize your ears. So you're already starting up with ears that are slightly pressurized outwards. And you go down and then regularly, have you know, you, know, you want to be streamlined so you don't want your elbow over here, arm in here, and then just regularly equalize, equalize, equalize. This, especially until you really know what's comfortable for you, make sure that you work within your comfort zone and don't push into pain or discomfort. Very important. Later on, when you get to know exactly when you need to equalise, well, you, you stop thinking about it. It becomes just the normal. But at this point in time, feel a change there? Equalise. You know, once or twice a metre, it's really going to help. Thank you.